Okay. Probably awkward, huh? You're probably staring at me while I stare at you, whoever's on the other side of the screen. Anyways, how you guys doing? Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. Nice to hear that. Hope you had a good Easter uh, break. That's cool. Are you guys on live? So, most of the park is taken up by some um, Dave Miras. Are you online? Some bikers. And, um, are you ready? ready? Today I'll be talking about things that are very essential while going out and skating. Taking out a bag. I got all my skate gear in this bag. Okay. Starting off with the Star Wars Rebel Backpack. Got this from my girlfriend for Christmas. Thank you. I love my girlfriend. Me too. And I, do too. I got some cool pins. Got to rep the homies. Tafoya, David, keep killing it. Your brand, love it, sick. Kermy, Wolverine, you know, they, you know these guys. Angel, rest in peace, love you. So, starting off with the top bag. When you open my backpack. Top zipper, I got. Kinetic tape, someone gets injured, you know, wrap it up. Razor blade for grip, grip jobs, whatever. And when I open this bag right here, I got another pocket. Risers, never know. I might put this on my board soon. I have a T-tool, self-ratcheting by Silver. I got this for 10 bucks, believe it or not. I got this at a skate shop that's on for sale. Very helpful and makes it really quick when switching out boards. Also comes out with the file. Very helpful. So I just get my razor blade, get the file, do my deal really quick. This helps me when I just want to get back into skating. You know how it is when you snap a board, everyone else is skating, and you're just having a tough time and you want to hurry up and you're stuck with one of those wrenches that's not even ratcheting and a screwdriver you're just standing there for like 20 minutes buy yourself a self ratcheting uh, t-tool silver makes them very very sick tool i got these these are pretty sick in case a bushing blows out i got clear bushings never saw them i thought i'd get them got them for 450 pretty sick by deluxe Andy, I thought you'd love this. Andy Inspector. It's like tack and supply for fish, you know, fishing. Pretty cool. One thing I learned, I got this from Home Depot. Box of hardware. These are nylon nut lug nuts. But the only thing is that sucks with these is these are whole. And you'll see right here on mine. On this wheel, this is a half inch nylon lug nut, but when you check out this one I just put on, look how much it sticks out from the wheel. So if you're trying to get some nylon lug nuts, I recommend buying them online because when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, believe it or not, they do not sell them. Half inch width lug nuts. I just learned that. Same thing with the hardware. I think these will do for the hardware for the board, but again, that's the only thing with these. Same thing with the uh, the king pin. The king pin, they're different too, 916 bolts. I was asking the, the employees there at Home Depot, and they're just scratching their head like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So, I don't know, I just had these for whatever. Lube, lubricant for your bearings, very helpful. Um, I wouldn't say use them too much because too much lube is, is bad for your bearings, but just the right amount. 
will help you in ways. So I got this, this definitely helps. So, when I'm skating on a ledge, I got you. Best wax ever. I really don't know how I found out about this wax, but I love this wax. When someone else offers their wax, I do not take it, I'm sorry. Whoever it is, even if you're my best friend, I don't care who you are, P-Rod, whatever, Andrew Reynolds, I don't care. This is the best wax. Paraffin wax. For everyday use, you can use it for cooking. It's pretty sick, comes, I think it's like 385 or some, something like that. Comes four blocks, big. And you put this stuff on anything, this stuff just sinks right in. It melts into this, uh, the obstacle. It is the best wax ever, dude. Love it. Sick. Paraffin wax. Parawax household wax. Best wax ever. You, oh, if you're watching this video, you can get it at Food Max. Check in the, I want to say the cooking area. And even if you ask the employees there, no one knows what the hell this is. I'm telling you. Just go down every aisle and look for this shit. This shit is essential. Part of my language, but you do not understand. If you skate and you need wax, this is it. This is it. Oh, another hardware box. Got some old school stuff on here. Cell blocks by Santa Cruz. I love Santa Cruz, favorite place, and they have the best uh, stuff there. Rodney Mullen. One of his uh, early graphics in uh, Pal Skate. I also have this tatted on my ribs. I love Rodney Mullen. Dude, you, if you watch this, Rodney Mullen, I don't know the chances are, you are a huge contribution to the skate community. And even though I don't really know you, I just know, I know you in a sense of all your hard work and dedication to what you've done in skateboarding. You are sick, man. Peace, namaste. Razor blades, extra 916 bolts. Razor blades for cutting, grip tape. I got more lubricant, another one, and Neosporin, you never know. If you fall and hit yourself, Neosporin. Kid stickers for the kids. No problem, man. Hardware, earplugs, you never know. More bushings and washers, fourth bushings. 88 soft indie bushings. I ride indie till I die. Oh my God. Clear coat, very important for ledges. If you go to a dry ledge and you cannot skate it, I recommend putting clear coat. Nick, I'm not gonna say the full name. You know who you are. Thank you, clear coat. Spray this on a ledge, soaks in there, and takes 10 to 30 minutes, maybe longer, depending on how much you spray on the ledge. I recommend getting the wheel area and on top. And if you're trying to do a lip slide on the ledge, Take into consideration this area as well and this imaginary ledge. Spraying right here too for lip slides, front or back. I got two cans just in case. Different kinds, never know. Trying out different clear coats. So I'd spray this on and then bam. It's like slip and slide. Really, really slick. Sockets, I got different sizes, and this to get in different angles for the socket. You never know, if you're trying to make a spot skatable, and you need to take out some big bolts, I got this. All right, take out boards, take out trucks, all that stuff, take things apart. Make things skatable. We need it in Bakersfield. There's not many things to skate here. Crowbar. Um, 
just to get off some metal shavings off benches or skate stoppers ah. or protection. I don't know. I got more attachments for my drill, special screw tips, stuff like that, just for those little things that stop us from skating. I'm trying to help the trying to help these youngsters out in Bakersfield. Elbow pads. You never know. I actually use it to cover my crowbar from cutting through my bag. Extra wheels and bearings. That was it. Size 53 to 54. Drill bit. See, there we go, ripped open. Oh, uh, that's it for the inside. Another block of wax. Truck. I have a leftover truck. This is for grinding down the ledge when it's barely being skated. I spray this on and I use this. I soak it up with the wax and the clear coat and then I just grind it down. If you, Yeah, I could grind it with my own trucks, but I want to preserve those as long as I can. So I just do this for a while. Just grind it down, top, side. And this helps get the wax in, right? So there's that. Shugu. Shugu is great. This self-explanatory it says on here. You know, it's good for shoe repair, protective coating, and you know, you just put this on your shoes, right? Just put that on, let it dry, put another coat, let it dry, put another coat, and that's what shoe goes for. Also, it also helps if you have a stripped nut and you don't have any more nylon on the strip, uh, on the axle. I recommend just putting a little bit of shoe glue and just rubbing it around there and letting it dry. That could prevent your uh, bolt from slipping off. So, shugu can be used for many things. Shugu and got flashlights. We got three of them. When it gets dark, never know. I got three of these babies. Yes, sir. It's always a battle. And I had extra bearings. I just used them. There you go. Right here, red. Extra bearings. And I used to have bolt cutters. <clears throat> I lost those. It might be somewhere in the garage, but I used to have bolt cutters in my bag. Those two are very important, never know. Trying to make spots skatable out here in Bakersfield. Um, here's my, this is my skate bag. And this is what I carry on our trips and our sessions. Um, <laughs> comment below if any of these things I uh, shared with you are, are helpful, or, or if you find one of these in your, any of these items in your town, uh, comment below. Let us know what I should put in my bag or what else I need. I know I need a few things. Uh, I need Bondo. I'm gonna get Bondo soon, I'm gonna get that. If you have anything else you wanna share with me and buying or adding to my arsenal of gear, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share, like, and subscribe. And, and have a good day. Uh, I'll meet you all Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.